Hey there everyone, this is Model Car Nick and we're going to be going over this new Lamborghini Revuelto. I just picked this one up today at Sam's Club and I'm going to show you some of the features, the details, and some of my overall opinions on this car and I'm just now looking at it for the first time with you guys so you're getting a bit of my initial impressions. And then I also decided to pull out the Scion just so we get a nice little comparison between these two models towards the end of the video. So let's get into it and we'll start with the overall uh, uh, car in general with the Revuelto. So it's painted in this really nice uh, gloss orange finish. It's not really a pearlescent color. It's more of just like a, a, a straight orange, but still got a really nice gloss paint to it. You know, I don't see any issues with the paint quality whatsoever. And, um, you know, this was also a beautiful paint job, but you know, there's nothing wrong with the paint on this new model and it looks absolutely fantastic in person. Um, something about the the windshield up front is that it's got some of the best glass or kind of plastic material that I've seen so far. It looks like they've kind of upped their quality on these Mesa cars just a little bit. I've, I've, I've taken notice of that. So let's start with the front of this car and show you some of the details up here. So we have these nice Y-shaped lights, which is the same also kind of on the, the Scion over there. Um, but these are more of a bit narrow. As you can see on the Scion, they're a bit wider up in the front, those headlights. Um, up here, we have a nice little Lamborghini badge on the hood, and that seems like just a decal. It's not an actual emblem or anything. Um, down here, we have the Revuelto uh, license plate up there, and it looks pretty good. And obviously, they don't use like real mesh grills or anything, so it's just, you know, a plastic, a fake plastic grill behind there. But, you know, the headlight detail themselves on those upper headlights, you know, nothing really to complain about, and they look relatively well. Um, let's put this model down and take a look at it from the side. Over here we have a nice little turn signal indicator and we have some black wheels which, you know, I think you kind of lose some of the design of the, uh, the wheels themselves when you put the black wheels on this particular car, but they look okay. They're in this kind of five spoke, uh, um, you know, star pattern and back there it looks like we have um, some black brake calipers as well that say Lamborghini on it. And sorry the lighting's not that great, it's hard to show with these black uh, wheels and stuff. So we'll keep coming down the side of the car and um, the mirrors have this carbon fiber finish to them. And obviously this is the textured carbon fiber. So it's not like glossy or anything. And it actually has a little, you know, carbon fiber feel to it. Um, so down here, uh, we do have some more aero work behind the front wheel and some big uh, air intakes towards the rear of the car. Um, over here, they even included a hexagonal uh, gas cap, which I think that's supposed to be, or maybe even charging since it's a hybrid vehicle. Uh, down here on the lower uh, skirt, um, it says, uh, I think that's probably says the Revuelto as well down there on the side. Um, check out the back of the car real quick. And the back of the car, I think, is the, probably one of the most beautiful um, compared to the front. So it's got this really nice wide shaped tail lights, which is kind of inspired from the Maybe not this car, but some of the other Lamborghini models that came before. I think it was the, the Centenario, which this taillight design is based off of. Um, back here, we also have a dual exhaust, which looks absolutely incredible. And we have a big diffuser, and this is also supposed to be a carbon fiber look as well. It has the feel to it, but it looks relatively mean and pretty aggressive. I think a lot of people don't realize on the Revuelto, we have these little flying buttresses over here. So it's kind of like the Ford GT where air can just shoot in between those gaps, but I think it looks relatively well. And like all Maestos, this is a fully opening model, and I think the wing does come up on the rear of this car, so you can get it up a little bit. Oh, no, actually, hmm, no button on the bottom to push it up. I think you just have to kind of pull it up there. Um, it is nice, because on these new, uh, these new models, they added like a little pick tool with them, so they ended up, uh, you know, coming with some more features than some of the previous cars. So the wing does come up pretty high though. And let's open up the the rear deck lid. And so all you get is just this little carbon bit right here. This whole thing doesn't open up. So that is kind of unfortunate. But here's some of the engine detail. I mean, it looks pretty dang good for a May still. You know, nothing really complained about. It looks to me like it goes pretty deep in there. Um, you know, nice uh, job doing with the hoses and everything, some of the air intakes back there. but. You know, like I said, nothing really to complain about with this model at all. So far, it's looking very good to me. Um, over here, I'm going to open the door. Check out the interior. In the interior, it looks absolutely phenomenal. They kind of used the same orange paint with the inside to match the outside. And I must say, this is a pretty orange car. 
So, you know, I don't really love that and I kind of want a different color if I can get one, but we'll see. We'll check out this other side and let's see the gauge cluster and everything looks pretty good. Obviously this is not a higher end model, so it's just plastic on everything in the interior. Looks like the steering wheel kind of has some play to it, moves up and down and uh, turns the wheel. Oh, I think I just broke it. Well, that is unfortunate. You saw it live here, guys. I did just snap off that steering wheel. I'm sure that's fixable, but yeah, we'll leave that. Um, <laughs> that was kind of bad, but like I said, overall, besides that little snafu that just happened was, um, you know, this is a really nice model. Um, and, you know, for the price that you can get these at at Sam's Club or whatever, Costco, these are like $17. You might as well just pick one up because they look absolutely incredible. And compared to the Scion over there, I mean, this is a step in the right direction for sure. Um, I'll show you the front of the Scion again, just so you guys get a quick overview on these cars. And, you know, they look pretty similar. So I, I kept the Scion around just so I could see how different does the Revolto look um, in comparison. And honestly, I mean, I think the resemblance is almost, uh, you know, identical in some ways, obviously. The, uh, the new car is slightly different with the design especially on the rear, but you know, overall design philosophy, relatively the same, just a quick overview. So yeah, those are the two cars today. And so thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Um, we have a lot more model cars that I bought as well, including the new Trans Am. So stick around for that video. It'll be coming out uh, shortly, but thank you guys so much. And, uh, like and subscribe if you don't mind and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.